I mean, what was important to you? What did you find you needed to do to bring out a 1950s persona? Um, every morning when I get to work, like I insist upon wearing the, the period appropriate undergarments. <laughs> um, and e like even... So do I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he really does. He insists upon it. It's super weird. <laughs> In fact, I insist on wearing Lizzie's. Yeah. <laughs> He's wearing them right now. He took them. <laughs> Putting that on, even in scenes where you're not going to see my undergarments, that like helps right from the jump. Yeah. Uh, and for me, I realized how much I relied upon, like, saying like and um and having terrible posture and mumbling and whatever got me by, you know, in, in other roles was just not going to fly here. Um, and so just down to like how I carry myself. My posture has changed tremendously. I mean, obviously not right now, but like, you know, at work. And making sure to say every word and not pad a script with, with whatever I do to honestly, like, make it easier for me as, as an actress. I remember when we were shooting the pilot, I said, yeah, and you said, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> say yes, and I was like, that's kind of fine. And then I realized, like, oh no, you're, you're absolutely correct. Like, there are no cutting corners when it comes to just how I have to speak in order to pull myself out of my normal day-to-day -day stuff. So it was actually really helpful. And also, being word perfect in a script is just not something that I'm used to. I'm used to being able to improvise and screw around with it, and that's not how it goes on this. And I think it's made me a, a much more disciplined Actress. Yeah, that <laughs> fly with me. <laughs> Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs>